Libra and welcome to Honeybee You Tarot. My name is Melissa. Today I'm doing a reading called The Four Pillars of Support. And this is for any Libra who is going through uh, challenges and or changes. Um, and these, you know, positive or, neg or less positive changes come with challenges. And so this is... Um, this reading will hopefully provide you with some um, um, guidance or something to think about in terms of um, getting support as you move through this time. Um, I guess it's a, it's a timeless reading, so whenever you come across it, I hope that it is helpful. So let's see. Let's have a look at what um, Libra needs to know in general. What's the change? What's the challenge right now? Changes and challenges for Libra. Um, and again, it you know, generally the readings are for sun, moon, and rising Libras, but if you're called to it and you have any placements in Libra, it is also for you. Okay, so it looks like you really are wanting to move potentially towards a relationship, maybe a passionate relationship, maybe um, ugh, we got three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it kind of looks like you want a new start. Okay, maybe after uh, a heartbreak, um, that you may be wanting to move towards a lover, a new lover, or an ex-lover. However, the King of Wands energy, um, that is fire, okay? That's fire element. So there's passion there. Um, there's inspiration, there's leadership. The thing about the King of Wands is that energy has learned some level of restraint. So it doesn't act impulsively. Okay, so maybe that's part of the challenge is that it's going to require some level of restraint even though everything in you wants wants to rush in right okay so let's take a look and see what we have for internal whoa internal strength i'm just going to tell you the cards have been doing that a lot and i don't know if it's just this deck i don't think it is because i think some of my other decks have been doing that it's like they it's like they're um, being little fish out of water. So they flip and then they flip back, um, which is interesting. I won't go on and on about that. Okay. Well, we have for internal strength, we have the five of cups. Okay. So this does seem to be uh, involving some type of loss or disappointment. We have 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, Libra, ooh, um, maybe once upon a time you've had it all and maybe you're, you're focusing on what you had um, and it's time to, to let what, what once was um, go and turn towards what is you know, remaining, okay, the two of cups. And yes, will this require some internal strength? Absolutely. It's hard to say goodbye sometimes. It's hard to let go of um, past. I don't even know that it's, it's always the relationship so much, but Sometimes it's just hard to let go of the dream or how that particular relationship made you feel. 
But if you can draw from the fact that you have had love in your life in the past and that there is still more to be had, um, I think that 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 can offer you some support. But you have to sort of make a choice to turn towards the future and towards what's what is remaining and maybe what is remaining for you um, is knowing that you have experienced great love and you can again, but you have to turn towards the future and not the past, okay? I mean, she's looking, and when I'm looking down at, this, at the desk, see, she's looking in the past direction. I'll go ahead and keep the cards here while this person is looking forward into the future, okay? Um, okay, so external support for Libra. External support for Libra. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of cards. No? Okay. Okay, Libra, yeah. Moving towards something. See this little ladybug? This is the Eight of Cups. This little ladybug is the only one that's alone. And she's in this beautiful world, right? I mean, there's everyone's coupled up except for little ladybug. So I think she has decided to move towards something more fulfilling. And it appears that for you, this is about partnership, finding your person or your ladybug, or your man bug. <laughs> okay. So external support, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. Right there. Ugh. I don't like my head being chopped off. I don't think that's good juju. Uh, Four of Swords. Whoa! Wow! Whoa, Nelly. Libra, my little air friend, you are in your head for sure. Where there's a lot of mental energy here. And the tower. <sighs> yeah. Okay. External support. Okay. You know, I really thought that during these readings that external support was going to show up as, you know, sort of friends, family, that energy, and it really has not. It really has been an internal, um, either a process or, um, wisdom gained, you know, something like that. And I'm sort of feeling the same thing here that it just seems that the key, you know, you're holding the key or the key to supporting you through this time is a new perspective, a a truth, maybe being accepted um, about maybe what went down. I mean, was, you know, five of swords, many times there's conflict within the five of swords and certainly fives are about change um, and they're often challenging times. So we have, you know, I don't know, is there a sense of needing to, to have one person right and one person wrong? Or, you know, maybe, maybe it's time to let go of that. I mean, sometimes, you know, we, we have loss in relationship. We're trying to figure out, you know, who was right, who was wrong, what could I have done, what what did they do, what did, you know, it's just not helpful. 
it's just not helpful to keep to stay in that mental energy of you know conflict especially when you're having it probably all by yourself <laughs> and so um you know maybe that it's time for you to go within and rest um you know if you feel yourself being pulled into the past thinking about the past you know uh uh ruminating on coulda woulda shoulda pull yourself back and stay in the present you know um allow yourself to take some time uh to think about what you want to rebuild um you know this person this image is like this person is holding on to this tower as it comes crumbling down and for me yeah, you know, it, it, it's hard, you know, change is hard. However, if this is an opportunity to build something new from the ground up, and I think the key is going to be a change in your perspective, potentially around relationships, potentially around how to navigate, you know, um, uh, navigate relationships, navigate conflict, um, or who, who you are in relationships, you know, something like that. Okay, let me take a look under here. Strength, yeah, it's gonna require a lot of strength, courage, determination, um, uh, a, 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 an, a, and more so than externally, internally, it requires a lot of strength to so look at your own peace and let go of the other that really just never really i mean unless you were abused but then even then i mean that's kind of my specialty even then you, you have to go within and see okay so why am i choosing this where are these patterns that i you know repeat over and over again i have to start looking at and going within. Okay. So maybe the external support is uh, taking time to rest. Maybe even, you know, seeking a counselor. Who knows? Oh, man. Okay. All of these cards are upright. I just want you to know. Uh, so we have self-care. We have Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Three of Cups all in reverse for you, Libra. This is about self-care. The third pillar is self-care, okay? And, you know, I just, I kind of feel like it's important that you do not um, you know, sometimes self-care is about being honest with ourselves and really diving deep and not needing to pull other people into our drama and create more drama and keep telling the same story over and over and over again so that you get you know people behind you and supporting you in in patterns and thinking that is no longer serving you i just i think this is just a really a time for you to 
go within, remain open, remain curious, most of all about, about yourself. If you're going to look backwards, if you're going to go, go look into the past, look into you know, maybe how past programming, past, past beliefs, your family of origin, you know, all of that, uh, you know, cultural norms and expectations and all of that you know, sort of um, informed you and your ideas and notions of uh, relationship and partnerships. We also got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is really nice, okay? So it's remaining stable in the midst of the storm. It's... Um, It's not getting carried away uh, in emotionality, okay? And spirituality. Spirituality. Libra. Wow. Okay. Queen of Wands. Wow. I mean, look at her. She's in... She's in, you know, the dark and she is the light, right? She's peacocking. She is shining a bright light and the moths are drawn to her. You know, the wheel of fortune here is at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, there's something about being authentically you and being confident in who you are and being um, willing to, to be authentic and um, to go for the things that you want. I mean, we've got the King of Wands with the Queen of Wands here. Um, now, Spirituality is a practice, right? I mean, it's a, it's you, you, there's action involved in spirituality. It's different than your belief. It's different than your faith. It's what you know. What's my practice? Um, and maybe you know some of this stuff involves being authentically you, shining your light bright, moving towards, um, you know what it is that you desire, you know, if you're going to go back and, and build something brand new um, and you maybe have had relationships based in what you thought other people expected you to uh, be in or have or create, you know, I don't want to go on too long. Uh, maybe it's time to shine your own light and attract what is right for you. You know, what is truly authentic and will um, will appreciate you for who you are. to keep showing up right you, you have to keep you know spiritual practice doesn't necessarily have to to be based in in uh you know religion or anything i mean it our life is our you know um is our spiritual practice uh and the more authentically that we can show up you know we're practicing i mean if if you're congruent and if you're you know certain belief systems say like i'm 
I'm amazing as I am and I am worthy and I am, you know, one of, I'll just use the word God's, you know, uh, mirrored images. If you believe that, then what, and I'm not only talking to you, I'm talking to all, to all of us, you know, then what happens along the way? We say that, but then we behave in a completely different manner. You know, we accept less or we put on masks and we show ourselves to be something that we're really not and we're 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 moving um in relationships based on you know societal norms and expectations or you know our family's expectations so i just think ah, we're having an opportunity really you know to to do something very different here to turn the wheel. Okay. Uh, and maybe build something, you know, better. Okay. And let's get one final message for Libra. Or maybe two. <laughs> All right. We've got a uh, loyal heart at the bottom of the deck in the protection position. Look at that. King and queen. That's in the protection. It's 32 or 35. Okay. So that's an E. And we have, let me turn that over. Did I do that? I hope so. Okay. We have come to the edge, another repeat performer in all of these readings. So nine, right? We're getting close to a 10, close to an ending and another eight, 44, the thinker. All right, let's Quickly read these because I am cooking my lunch here right now. 30. I'm hoping it's not burning. Um, 36. Oh, it's not protection. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. You know what? I'm going to read the relationship message because I just feel this was all about that. Um, it's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him to or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. I've got to go get the oven. I'm sorry. I'm going to just put this on pause. For just a second. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. I said it's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods, and they will deliver what you truly desire. It's amazing. Okay, and 44. Libra, Libra. Love is not a logical, wait, what? Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. That's another really great point. Okay, Libra. Well, I hope that was really, you know, helpful. And um, gosh, you know, I need to be you. Be you. Be you. Shine bright. You matter. All that you are matters. Um, and all your unique qualities are there for a reason, and your journey matters, your healing matters, and thank you so much for being here. Please just take a second to hit like, subscribe, or share this video. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.